Hello, everyone. My name is Yun Qi. I'd like to introduce our work, Causal Factorization Machine for Robust Recommendation. In this work, we aim to enhance the robustness of factorization machines for recommendation under the non IID setting. Here, the non IID setting means the distributions of training and testing data are different due to some agnostic bias. Previous studies have shown that a reasonable way to achieve a robust predictive model is to learn the model with causal features. Since effects of causal features on the target variable is insensitive to the shifts among different domains. In this work, we follow such idea and propose to select causal features for factorization machines. What's more, we emphasize that the causal features selected for recommendation should be personalized to satisfy users' different preference. For example, for one user, the causal feature for predicting whether he or she likes a code may be the code price and comfort. But for another user, whether the code is fashionable and popular may be more important. The proposed method in this work will help to establish more accurate and stable recommender systems to better serve the diverse users in digital libraries. Let's first introduce factorization machine. Factorization machine are supervised learning models, which are widely used for feature-based collaborative recommendation. We will call factorization machine as FM in this presentation. FMs predict users' preference on items based on their feature vectors, X. Here, X is a given real value feature vector with N features. FMs estimate the target variable by modeling all features, as well as the second order interactions between each pair of features. A general formulation for FMs is shown as an equation here. In this equation, the W0 models the global bias, WI models the first order feature, and denotes the weight of the ice feature for estimating the target. WIJ models the second order feature interaction between feature I and J. It denotes the weight of the cross feature SI, FJ for estimating the target. XI here is the ice feature of X, and Y hat is the predicted rating for X. To learn the weight of second order features, WIJ, FMs factorize it as the dot product of VI and VJ. Here, VI is the embedding of feature I with dimension D. This is the key point to estimate high quality weight factors for second order interactions and the sparse data. As we mentioned, to select causal features in recommendation, we need to consider the personalized preference of different users for features. However, the feature weights in FMs are global, which means that FMs consider the effect of each feature on the target variable as the same for different users. Therefore, we reformulate FM as a personalized FM by introducing the personalized feature parameters. Here, the WU is the personalized bias of user U. WUI and WUIG reflect the preferences of user U over the first and the second order feature interactions. Inspired by the factorization machines to save computing and storage costs and also leverage the advantage of collaborative filtering, we break the independence of the parameters by factorizing them through user embeddings U and feature embeddings V. We will learn a user embedding U for each user to capture user's preference and a feature embedding V for each feature to capture the feature characters. Now the coefficients in FMs can reflect a user's personalized preference. The next problem is how to make the weight of each feature represent its causal impact on the target variable so as to achieve the causal feature selection. To identify causal features, the most important problem is how to estimate their causal effects on the target variable. In this work, we refer to the confounder balancing approach for estimating the causal effect of features based on observational data. In specific, suppose the input matrix for FMs is X, where every row of X is a training sample and every column of X is a feature. To identify the causal effect of the J's feature XJ, we treat the feature XJ as a treatment variable, the label Y as the outcome variable, and all the remaining features X minus J as confounders. 
To identify the causal effect of a treatment feature, we need to remove the confounding bias between the treatment and the control groups induced by all the confounders. So that the correlation between SJ and label Y represents the causal effect of SJ and Y. And the causal features are naturally selected by obtaining higher weights during the learning process. To remove the confounding bias between the treatment and the control group, we need to balance the distributions of confounders. Most of the confounding balance methods directly balance the moments of confounders by adjusting sample weights W. Here, we suppose T as a treatment variable and set T equals one as the treatment group, T equals to zero as a control group. In the first equation, MT equals one represents the first order moments of the variables X on treatment group, while MT equals to zero represents the first order moments of variables X on control group. Once we balance the distributions of confounders and reweight samples by W learned from the first equation, the correlation between the treatment and the outcome variable can imply the causal effect of the treatment on the outcome variable. As there is usually no prior knowledge of the causal structure of input variables in FFs, we have to treat every feature as a treatment variable and estimate its causal effect on the outcome. When we treat one feature as treatment, the other features are considered as confounders. We need to learn a global sample weight that balances the distributions of confounders between treatment and control group for every treatment feature. The global sample weight is learned by the second equation. Finally, we get the learning objective of our causal FM model. We optimize the square loss under the constraint of confounder balancing and also some general constraints avoiding overfitting and naive solutions. We optimize the objective function by stochastic gradient descent. Now we introduce the experiments. We consider three public open data sets for recommendation tasks, random runway, post, and moyulance. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed model, we select several representative factorization machine models for comparison, FM, Deep model deep FM, field aware neural factorization machine FNFM, and attentional factorization machine AFM. To evaluate the recommendation quality under the top K recommendation task, we consider standard metrics, including NDCG and heat rate scores. Both metrics are the higher, the better. To evaluate the robustness, we evaluate the drop rate of models. The drop rate metric evaluates the drop rate between the recommendation performance on the non-IID test setting and the recommendation performance on the IID test setting. Here to simulate the non-IID setting for each data set, we split the testing data into several subsets according to user's personal feature. For example, in random runway data set, we split the testing data into three subsets according to user's age. Group one contains users under 30. Group two contains users between 30 and 40. And group three contains users over 40. We tested the performance of the models, not only on the overall testing side, but also on each of these subsites, which contain different selection bands. We calculated, we calculated job rate of the model based on the overall testing performance and the worst performance on the subsites. The job rate is the lower, the better. Now we show our experimental results. This is a table of the recommendation performance of our CFM model and baselines on the random runway data side. From this table, we can see that CFM can boost the performance of factorization machines based on the personalized causal feature selection. CFM can also enhance the robustness of factorization machines under the non iid setting where there are agnostic bias between training and the testing data. The results on the other two data sites, the post and the lens, have similar trends and can be found in our paper. Moreover, we studied the case where we directly balanced confounders for training FM without considering personalized feature selection and get the results of balanced FM, say BFM in this table. Actually, BFM conducts causal feature selection in a global way. 
it means the selected causal features for all users are the same. We can see that by comparing the results in this table, the CFM model achieves the best overall performance and robustness. It shows that forcefully selecting global causal features will not help to improve the performance since the learned model is not suitable for any user, but just trying to accommodate the majority. Therefore, it is necessary to consider the personalized preference of users when selecting causal features in recommendations. Here we conclude our paper. In this work, we focus on improving the robustness of FMs for recommendation tasks and the non-ID setting. The non-ID setting in our paper means the distributional shifts exist between the training and testing sites due to some selection bias. To this end, we introduce a personalized causal feature selection method for FM. We conduct experiments on three real-world data sites and compare our method with both shallow and deep FM-based models to show the effectiveness of, of our method in enhancing the robustness of recommendations as well as improving the recommendation accuracy. We welcome everyone to read our papers for more details and more background knowledge about causal inference and confounder balancing approach. Please feel free to contact us for any questions and discussions. Thank you for listening.